Now, Prime Minister Narendra Modi, who has departed from uh, the Vivekananda Memorial, uh, and let's take a look at those visuals that are coming in. Okay, he'll be departing on a ferry, after which he'll be taking a flight to the national capital. He has completed his 45-hour meditation at the site. There you have it. He's also, he's now he's now arrived at the ferry. He's taking the ferry. He's going to be headed to Rameswaram, and from there he will be flying out to Delhi. The 45-hour retreat has allowed for the Prime Minister to rejuvenate, revive his strength, and uh, come back in full gusto as uh, the Phase Seven final phase of election gets completed. The results are going to be out on 4th of June. He is also paying his tribute to this grand statue of Swami Vivekanand while he is on his way out. Mahima, we are getting to know now, we are getting more of these visuals. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has taken the ferry. He is going to be flying out of the Vivekananda Memorial shortly after. He has paid his tribute to Swami Vivekananda, the massive statue that is built in his memory. Well, uh, like you correctly pointed out, uh, any moment from now, Prime Minister Narendra Modi may go uh, will uh, uh, will lead the uh, Vivekananda Memorial uh, Rock, uh, and uh, from there uh, he uh, will be in Kanyakumari from uh, somewhere around three to four and four to four thirty is the tentative time that has been fixed when he is going to fly back to Delhi. So uh, the latest visuals that we are getting that he will give tribute uh, to Saint Siruvalluvar. Giant statue that is built just next, just on the next rock. Uh, uh, on one rock is the Vivekananda Memorial, uh, the Rock Memorial, and on the other hand, we have a statue of Saint Tiruvalluvar. So it was said, as it was, it was we believe that uh, after Prime Minister uh, ends his 45 hours of meditation, he will uh, go and pay tribute to Saint uh, Tiruvalluvar. So we'll have to wait and watch that after paying uh, the tribute to Saint Thiruvalluvar, what Prime Minister exactly will do, what will be his schedule, because 4 to 4 is the time that is given uh, uh, for him uh, to fly back to Delhi. But also, uh, Megha, now uh, the rock that Prime Minister meditated on uh, has a major or had a major impact on Vivekananda's life and holds a similar Okay. 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 Uh, he has a lot of work to finish. Uh, of course, anticipation high over the results, but his work carries on. Well, absolutely, Mega 4 to 4 30 is the time uh, given that uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi will fly, uh, fly from Kanyakumari. He's still in Kanyakumari. The tentative time that has been given uh, for Prime Minister to fly back to Delhi is uh, in between 4 to 4 30. So that is uh, what that he is going to come back to Delhi. And we'll have to wait and uh, watch that what will be Prime Minister's schedule because 4th June, all eyes on 4th June will have the exit poll today, but all eyes on 4th June that uh, who is uh, going to form the government. So, absolutely, like you correctly pointed out, uh, a lot of work pending. But 45 hours of meditation has been done by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. It was on the 30th June that he landed at around 5.15. And the moment he landed, he took blessings of Ma Bhagwati. Also, remembering Megha that before yeah. his nomination, Prime yeah. Minister Narendra Modi did take Mahadev's Ashurvad as well, Mahadev's blessings as well. Yeah, you know, you know while, while the Prime Minister was... Uh, at this meditation retreat at the Vivekananda Memorial, his work did not stop because simultaneously when this cyclone has hit Mizoram,
Mizoram and Manipur and West Bengal, there has been tweets that have been pouring in. He has uh, uh, ensured that there is going to be all support that is going to be provided by the center to all these states for safeguarding and uh, saving the lives of people over there, their properties over there. Of course, he had today, earlier in the day, at the start of the election phase at 7 a.m., he also stated about how people should come out in large numbers and vote, and vote for democracy. This is what he has spoken. And uh, 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 besides that, he also yesterday wants to figures came out of the projected GDP rate of the country increasing from 7% in the last quarter to 8.2% the com upcoming quarter. Uh, he he's showcased the resilience and the support and uh, the hopefulness of the markets in uh, the building of the economy at such a staggeringly fast pace. So, so while he has been at the retreat, he has been meditating, work does not stop. Uh, like you correctly pointed out, uh, absolutely, he's the prime minister of the country, and uh, also uh, being responsible uh, towards uh, the countrymen, uh, he had uh, that particular task force. Uh okay. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.